I've got three carbon fiber travel tripods with me. They're very similar, except for price. $100 to $960. Let's talk about them. All right, so we've got the Bond Photo, $107 off Amazon. The Mi Photo, $350. And the Gitzo Travel Kit, $960. Let's by start talking about the Bond Photo. Very similar to the other tripods. Three legs as most tripods do. Center column, which can be placed up or down or reversed for very low to the ground shots. Now, you know, a $100 tripod versus a $1,000 tripod, you would expect to see some differences, and, and we do. The rubber on the little locking feet is kind of cheap rubber, and it doesn't feel very grippy to the hands. I'm wearing gloves right now because it's cold, and they're quite slippery. But even when you're barehanded, it's a little bit slippery as well. I do, however, like the locking mechanisms on this tripod to adjust the angle of the leg. It's very easy to pull out with or without a gloved hand, and it very nicely and satisfying clicks into place at its different positions. It's good. It's also got the little hook on the bottom that you can hang a camera bag from to add some stability. Now this is the shortest of the three tripods when extended. It gets to just 55 inches. The Gitzo is our tallest at 64 inches. And the Mi Photo comes right in the middle at 61. Weight wise, these tripods are all almost identically three pounds, give or take just an ounce. It's very little difference. But where you really start to see the difference is the heads. So this Bond Photo, I have to say I actually like the look of the head, but I don't like using it in operation. I've been working with all of these three tripods for about the last month now, and the Bond Photo has the most unique mechanism of a little lever lock to adjust the tension on the ball. And while again, I kind of like that idea and I like this minimalist looking design, in practice, I don't find it to work very well and often find that the little knob sticking out as you adjust the tension is just awkward. And it doesn't give you very good feedback for the amount of tension that you're placing on the ball. Also, the pan knob, it is small and it is very plasticky feeling. So I had that complaint down here, even more so up here. This isn't a grippy knob at all, and it feels quite cheap in the hand, along with the lock for the plate up top. All three tripods are Arca Swiss compatible, so they all can share the same plates, with an exception when we talk about the Gitzo. So it feels quite cheap. The good news is, this is completely removable head, all three of them are, so you could buy a more expensive head and put it on top and it would work just fine. Overall though, for $107, I'm pretty impressed. But one of the other differences that you have to think about, it's not a visual difference, it's not a functional difference, it's when something goes wrong. These Bond Photo guys, as far as I can tell, don't even have a website. They've got Amazon, they've got a Facebook page. If something happens, one of the carbon fiber legs cracks, uh, or one of it falls off and lost in the wilderness, as happened to me a few years ago with a Mi Photo, I'm not sure how hard it would be to get that replaced, fixed, or you know, sent to you. Keep that in mind. But at $107, it's form and function, it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a decent value. Now, talking about the Mi Photo, a little bit nicer fit and finish, the legs are a little bit more rubberized. We have a nice knob with a rubber grip on it for adjusting the tension to the ball head. You'll notice, this is actually the tripod. This is mine, and the one I've been using for the most over the last two years. I have taped this knob right here to remind myself not to grab it. It's the overall tension for how much you need to turn the big knob. And I found that once I put it in a place that I'm happy with, I don't need and don't want to touch it. And it's so similarly sized to the pan knob that any time in the dark or when I'm not looking, because oftentimes the camera's on top of here and you don't see what you're working with down there so much, I would be grabbing this wrong one and trying to figure out why it wasn't working, so that frustrated me enough. I'd like to see them drop this. And on the smaller models, they do, but on the larger models, they give it to you as an option. I don't really care for it. One thing to be careful about that, though, I mentioned all of these heads are removable. I see beginners from time to time not loosening the pan enough, and as they're moving the head, they're actually unscrewing it. And then the whole thing, with your camera attached, can fall off. That's dangerous, be careful. 
Now, there are no safety catches in the head of this tripod or ball. There are none in the Bond Photo either. Mi Photo supplies those in the plates. They're the little silver nuts sticking out there, or bolts, I think is a better term for that. And that'll keep it from sliding completely off when you loosen it. It's kind of nice to have that. One other thing that this tripod and the Bond Photo does is converts to a uh, monopod, which honestly, I think I've used once as a selfie stick goofing around. But if you need a monopod from time to time, it's nice to have that option of both of these convert and use their center column. Let's now talk about the Gitzo and try to figure out, is it worth hundreds and hundreds of more dollars over these two tripods? So as I said, it gets the largest of the three up to 64 inches. Again, it weighs the same as the other three though, at three pounds. It has fantastic grippy rubber on the legs and the whole mechanism of just pulling this out does feel very smooth uh, and a little bit better than the Bond Photo, about the same as the Mi Photo. The locking mechanism is different, but it still provides a two leg position for the leg. It's a little bit more visual in its feedback of what position it's about to snap into. It gives you some feedback there. Same rubbery grip for adjusting the height of the center column. And we see that same nice rubbery grip on the ball head. Without a doubt, this is the best ball head out of the three of them. The tension knob just works and feels so smoothly. Only a little bit of turn and you can easily adjust this. A little bit quarter turn back and you've locked it into place and it's not gonna move. The pan knob is a nice, differently sized from this knob, and it's even labeled pan, and it makes it very easy to move that head. However, Gitzo has in here, and this is a minor point, but they've got in here this little safety catch that's built into the head. What I've found is some of my other typically Arca Swiss compatible plates don't fit up here. They jam up on this, and sometimes if you're not careful, it'll seem like it's sitting in here correctly, but it won't all the way. So you either need to stick to Gitzo's plates and buying a few more, which are quite a bit more expensive than your standard Arca Swiss, um, or you could use a tool to take that out, but then of course you've got no safety catch. I just mentioned this because on a lot of the workshops we go on, we're oftentimes sharing tripods with other participants, passing cameras back and forth, or passing plates back and forth if someone left theirs in a bag back in the hotel room and it's just nice and having a catch like this when you don't expect it can trip you up a little bit. Uh, you know carbon fiber wise they all look the same uh, basically but the weave to the get so certainly looks a bit nicer and I know that this company's tech support is fantastic. Just story after story of any kind of issue that you might have getting resolved quickly and painlessly and I'll actually say that's the same for, true for the Mi Photo as well. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, a few years ago, I had a leg fall off in the woods and didn't know about it until much later. That's a long story. I'll link that video right down below. And uh, I needed a new one. I called somebody up on the phone, ordered a new one. It was there in a few days, and I had it. Again, I'm not sure what your experiences would be with Bond Photo. So, Three very similar tripods in size and weight and shape and function, but very different prices. 100, 350, 950. I'll put all of their detailed specs right down below this video as long with links to buy. I'd love your opinion. If anything goes wrong, easy to get fixed. If anything goes wrong, you could buy eight of these before you buy another of the Gitzo. It's one way to think about it. I don't love a disposable society, but for some of you, that price might be important. Or kind of the middle of the road, decent support, a lot that I love about it, except for that extra little bit on the ball head there. I'd love to know which tripod is most interesting to you, or is there another tripod that's your favorite? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. Bye-bye.